Hi everybody, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So it's a lazy Sunday afternoon, the rain's been on all day long. I took a break day, I, I really dig. I just went into town, had a good dinner. Uh, I've been logging, so this whole body was feeling it. So, But I thought it'd be fun to do a little walk around of uh, my shipping container. So one thing I get a comment on a regular basis is they, everybody sees the finished product of million dollars spent on a shipping container home. That's not what these should be. Uh, these should be like what I'm doing. I'm building my last retirement home. I could either spend $500,000 on a ready-made house, or I could spend a few years of my life and 100000 to build an off-grid super house. And the off-grid super house is what I've chosen. Let me rotate and we'll talk about it. So, you know, I am living like a king, even though I'm living like a Spartan. It fits me. So uh, these doors will be into the bedroom. So there, I found a transom uh, on Craigslist that will go in there. The doors will be finished with cedar wherever the white is and planks. So it'll end up having a finished castle door vibe about it. So the outside's still looking pretty rough. I need to make my storm windows and put my storm windows in. But it's tight as a drum uh, as long as the wind blows uh, away from the windows and I don't leave them open during the rain. But let's go inside, take a look. Oh, this is uh, living in a, a house while building, which I'm going to tell you is a rough bit of business. Let give my camera a second to to adjust. <laughs> now the uh, this house is set three degrees off true south, which gives me optimum solar but minimum heat, if you will. So uh, I just laid out. This is the office area. I've got my computer, big screen. Uh, That's how I make my normal living. I'm an engineer. It's got some mid-century modern that will go real well for the Spanish mission vibe. Uh, here's a little handy thing I just picked up. It's a, a multi-purpose futon. When you're in a small, tiny home, now this is uh, four times smaller than the house I left. So, <laughs> you know, I had to make some adjustments. So look at that. Uh, and it comes with a work tray. I could put a work tray on it and I could work on it. I really like this. A couple of hundred bucks. It won't last forever. There's the work tray. So... I could carry around a computer if I want, and it has the storage underneath for blankets. I can rotate it either way. Uh, there's a, a good leather sofa underneath that, but I don't like it because it sticks to my legs. This was a good design choice. I did inbuilt shelves, um, and then of course the uh, the stained glass everywhere gives it a, a a sanctuary kind of a vibe. I'm shooting for Southwest Mission, which would be like an Alamo or one of the missions down the mission statement. All unfinished, as you can see in here. Seeing how it holds up, it holds up real, real well. Uh, another smart detail underneath the windows is actually hardy plank, which is cement board, resistant to water. Uh, it's an external plank, internal, because I'll leave a window open eventually and it'll bleed in. The coloration on there was a test color that I used, and uh, it was just a smidgen dark. I ordered lighter than that. So I'll start working on it. This unfinished door will be an entrance into a great hall. Uh, that's why it's unfinished. Uh, above there will be where my mini split will go. And uh, I have successfully heated and cooled with just a window air conditioning unit. Keeps it comfy. Uh, there's mineral wool in the walls and it, it's well insulated. So this is a nice touch. I did uh, barn door, door glide. So if um, somebody wanted to come and needed to stay in the office, they could. There's another door on the other side so you can close it all the way up. Uh, but it opens to maximize the view and the light. I am a, a single bachelor out here. So, uh, you know, for me to have a one large en suite, uh, is really good, but uh, it would be a Jack and Jill bathroom. So there's to where the bathtub's going to be unfinished yet. It's more stained glass. Uh, that's my ventilation system to keep the moisture out of here. All cedar. Um, green board in the bathroom, of course, for moisture resistance. There'll be plenty of lighting once I, I finish doing the lighting. Um, nice antique, built-in cabinets. Actually, quite a bit of storage since I came from a big house. I'm, I'm getting used to this. Uh, you know, that, uh, and I haven't even finished the tops not done yet for storage. Uh, since I'm going to be drywalling, I don't want a lot of stuff in here. So it did fit everything. I don't know how keen I am on a dresser in the bathroom, uh, but it's towels and washcloths and dresser stuff. Of course, we are in construction mode, so it's a raw floor with boots and whatnots, accoutrements. 
this is a vision of the house uh, in uh, HO scale. So each one of these is about 1 62nd of the actual size. This is a container I'm in right now. There's the stained glass windows for orientation right there. And uh, they're right there. So it's true to scale. This little hot car is actually true to scale. So, you know, I put it all together. This building doesn't exist. It'll be my sawmill way off in the distance. Um, and then a reciprocal ceilings on the top and a maybe <laughs> Da Vinci Bridge, Archimedes Bridge from place to place, stairwell up from the inside, and a wrap around deck on both sides that'll go all the way over so I can come and go from the top. We'll see, that's how the front of the house will be. These will be the large um, um, Oaxaca uh, Mexico doors that I got that a, a truck can pull through. So this isn't quite to scale because you can actually, the doors I got are wider than eight foot. They'll fit a truck. This is not a queen, right? This is a 120 year old bed. Uh, my grandmother had it, my mother had it, now I have it. So it's a full um, and it fits a full. So uh, that's a dresser that my dad got, got from the barracks after World War II. I like the rattle, so I like this dresser. It's the one thing I wanted after he passed away. So I'm glad I got it. Uh, this, this is not, these windows doors are not cut in yet. They are just bolted up raw. And so there's still a edge there or, uh, the weathers can get in more of the built in bookshelf siding. I hope you like that. Lee and I did that folk art. It's a little village with a, uh, sun coming through and the radiant beams kind of the match, the radiant beams of the, uh, the stained glass. So. There's a lot of high-end little tricks and tips in here, and I'll cover them later on. The wiring is all conduit, so I can replace it later. The hardy plank underneath the windows, uh, mold-resistant everything. Full-size bathtubs in here. Real pleasant. This is a pleasant experience. Uh, once I get done with this, there won't be the white stained glass there. It'll be that transom that you saw from the other side. So uh, that's the house as uh, half of it. The other half is another shipping container just like this that I'm going to work on today. Cleaning, there's nothing in it. It's just for storage right now. But it'll be my kitchen, my full galley kitchen, a pantry slash bonus room, a mechanical room for my solar and water, as well as a small uh, tool shop on the back. So there we go. Uh, there's that door that I talked about that can slide. So, uh, you know, I can do that. I also have glass here so that I can block it off here so the bathroom can be isolated from everybody. All right, Internet. Uh, there's nothing on. I don't have the power on right now. It is truly off grid. I can hear the bees and buzzing in the fields like a low running hum constantly. So... I turn off all the power during the day quite frequently. I put up with the heat at 77, but the humidity is super high. So apologies. Plus, I got rained on. I was out working in the rain, so I'm a little moist right now. Forgive me. Uh, but there you go. There's a shipping container in build, in progress. Not the polished ones that you see on fancy shows, just in build. But I want to encourage people who are thinking about doing this themselves. I'm not a young man. Uh, or young couples that want get an acre of land and you can do this. I, I, you can do it and it can be beautiful. So uh, just it's, you're just trading time for high quality and that's all I'm doing. So uh, anyway, like, subscribe, follow me along. Thanks much. Bye.